This is Duke University. In a first-of-its-kind experiment, the brain activity of a monkey has been used to control the real-time walking patterns of a robot halfway around the world. Duke University researchers completed a demonstration that harnesses the brain cell activity associated with leg movement in a monkey, simulated here by computer animation, to manipulate the complex walking and standing tasks of a robot. The Duke team is working with the Computational Brain Project of the Japan Science and Technology Agency in Kyoto, Japan, to complete this research. Not only could the monkey control both his legs and the legs of the robot at the same time, but when we stopped the treadmill moving here at Duke and the monkey stopped walking, using the visual feedback she was getting from Japan, she was still able to sustain the locomotion of that robot for a few minutes just by thinking. Two rhesus monkeys were implanted with electrodes that collected information from cells in the brain's motor and sensory cortex. Sophisticated technology for capturing activity from more than 200 brain cells in multiple areas of the brain recorded how the cells responded as the monkey walked on a treadmill at various speeds. Researchers hope this technology will one day help those with paralysis regain the ability to walk with the assistance of prosthetic devices. Even though uh, a person may have a lesion that paralyzes uh, him or her, uh, the, the brain of this person continues to produce the signals that are needed to generate locomotion patterns or upper limb movements. So what we are showing here that you can go and harvest these signals and bypass the lesion and send them to an artificial device that can restore this uh, mobility. The researchers are estimating that work will begin within the next year to develop prototypes of the robotic leg braces for potential use in humans. At Duke University Medical Center, I'm Mike Garrison. Produced by Duke University. Online at duke.edu.